Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We're gonna do a very quick tutorial here today. We're gonna to show how to create a clean logo reveal in a more of a corporate, simple, clean setting. So this will be great if you're doing you know, corporate type videos or if you just need a clean uh, logo reveal. These techniques that are gonna be shown in this video are gonna help you reveal a logo on in a very professional way. Now, of course, there are so many variations for creating a clean, simple logo. That's why I've linked this page in the video description which has over 6,500 simple logo After Effects templates that you can take a look at to find inspiration or if you're not time crunch, you can easily just purchase one of these and have a entire unique logo animation completed in less than five minutes. So go ahead and check some of those out if you're looking for some inspiration and some new ideas and seeing how other people can do it. And of course, you can challenge yourself by recreating the work. That's why I think it makes sense to show other people's work. And if you do like one of these templates and you don't have a lot of time, like I said, these are templates, meaning that you can just purchase it and you can have your work done in less than five minutes. But let's go ahead and jump into our video and let's get started. So I already have my logo in here. And what I want to do is use a shape for a background. Now there's multiple ways I can do this. I want to use the rectangle tool. You can use a lips tool. I think that's cool. But I'm going to come here to fill and I'm going to set this color to maybe a logo color. Uh, so that's cool. And I'm going to turn off the stroke if that's turned on. Perfect. And I'm going to come here and draw out a rectangle. Hold down shift on our keyboard to make sure that's a perfect rectangle. Then I'm going to bring this layer underneath our logo layer. Grab both of the layers here and make sure you go to the line tab and center align these. And if you don't see the line tab, go up to window align. So with our shape layer in here, I want to be able to break this up. So what I'm going to do real quick with our shape layer is go up to layer, pre-compose, we'll call it box one, click OK. And then what I want to do is grab the rectangle tool again, make sure the layer is selected, and I'm going to split this up into fractions. So here I have a mask like this, and I'm going to come here to box one, and I'm going to go to edit, duplicate, and I'm going to M on our keyboard for mask one, and I'm going to move the mask one over by a touch, so let me actually make this a little bit more skinny. Boom. And we'll bring the mask over by a touch. And we'll break it up like that. Perfect, and then we'll duplicate it again. And we're gonna wanna do the same thing, obviously, two more times. So we'll break it up, and we'll do it one more time. So now that we have the box all broken up in here, and you can use it with any shape, what I want to do here is animate these. So I'm going to hit P on my keyboard for position, add a keyframe for all these. And I want to move these keyframes forward in time to maybe like two seconds or so. And now what I'm going to do is bring these all up word. So these can kind of just fall down into place like this. Boom. And from here, what I want to do is offset each of these layers by a few frames. So they don't all come on at the same time. And make sure to make all the last keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on my keyboard. So this is what we have at the moment. And it looks clean. And what I would do here is turn on motion blur for these layers. And we can turn on at the top for now. And now what I would do is I would grab all of our layers here and I would pre-compose these. And I would call it uh, plates animated. And then what we would do is I would duplicate this layer. I would toggle switch to the modes and I would put the logo layer underneath our duplicated here, go to the track mat, set it to alpha mat. So now our logo will only be revealed on by the shapes. Then what I'll do is go to the last layer here and I don't, let's say that I don't want this to be coming in from the top, maybe what I do. What I would do is grab the rectangle tool and I would just mask this out here and I would set it to subtract. So it'll come in from right there instead of straight from the top, which I think adds a little bit more, you know, originality to it. All right, and then I would grab all of our layers here. I added a quick background, and I would pre-compose it, and I'd call it logo. And then I'll go to effect, generate CC light sweep. And this will allow us to create a nice little light bevel across it, and I think that makes it look really nice. And what we can do here is take this off to the side, add a keyframe for center, and we can move forward in time to maybe four seconds, and we can have this you know, sweep across. And then, we, of course, we can adjust maybe the width by a touch the sweep intensity and really quick this is what we have and we have this nice edge sweep in there and so now you probably want to add like a name or something like a you know the company name or whatever title and I can come in here type out my text using typeface Gotham here and I'll center this up perfect and I want to animate this on by using a line so what we can do here is perhaps grab the ellipse tool and we'll set this color to white and I'll just draw out a circle like so 
And what I want this to do is I want this to turn into a dot, which turns into a line, which animates our title on. So that's very easy to do. So we'll come here, come to the transform. We'll add a keyframe for scale. We'll move this keyframe forward a little bit. We'll set the scale down to 0%. So it's like this was never there. Look at that, boom, was never there. And then I want this to turn into a line that opens up and turns into another dot. So very easy to do. We'll rename this layer to dot. And then right when this is animated open like this, we'll hit PR, we'll add a keyframe for position. We'll move forward and we'll move this all the way over to the left side here. So come over here. Then I would duplicate this layer and I would hit UU to bring up all the keyframes and I would animate this over to the other side. So now you have two dots coming in like that. And then all we have to do is animate the line. So we'll grab the pen tool, make sure no layer is selected. And we'll draw a straight line across like this. Perfect. We'll turn off the fill. We'll turn on the stroke. Set the solid color. We'll set it to white. Now we have a stroke in here. And all we have to do is animate this. We'll go into our shape layer, go to add, and we'll add a trim paths. And we'll open trim paths. And we'll set the start percentage to 50% and the end percentage to 50%. And right at this moment in time, when they start pulling across, we'll add a keyframe for start and end. We'll move forward to the end of their animations. And we'll set the start up to 100% and the end up to 0%. So now we have this line going across just like this. And I would probably make all these keyframes easy, easy keyframes. I'll go back into the circles and I'll make them all easy, easy keyframes as well by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And now all we have to do is animate this upward. So what I would do from here is I would grab all of our shape layers here, I pre-compose them, and I call it shape. And then I would hit P on my keyboard for position, add a keyframe there, and move forward in time, and I would move this upward to right here. And I make them both easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on my keyboard. And then I would grab our title here, and I would simply just draw, grab the rectangle tool, and I would draw a mask across our dots like this. Go into the mask one, add a keyframe for mask path, move forward to that last keyframe, and I would animate this upward to follow along with the dots, and I would just set this to uh, subtract. And I would also make both these keyframes easy, easy keyframes as well. So look at that. Now we have our title revealed on by this line, and you can keep this here, you can animate it out. I like it there. And of course, make sure you turn on motion blur, and we'll turn it on here at the top. Perhaps what we can do here is go to layer, new, null object, parent all of our layers to the null object. And we can do hit S and keyboard for scale, add a keyframe there, go to the end of our composition, and we can scale this forward by a touch. So it'd be a little bit movement in that. And then we can do a quick RAM preview. All right, and after a quick RAM preview here, we have our logo, our nice logo reveal, which is coming at us. It's a very nice, clean corporate reveal that you can use in a matter of different ways. A very simple thing to do, and it works very well. So. You can easily switch out any elements and you can also do some further animation if you want. You don't have to just do the position uh, you know, keyframes if you don't want that, but this is a very clean way to do that. And I hope you guys were able to take away some cool, clean techniques away from this After Effects tutorial. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because we post two After Effects tutorials every single week. Hit us up on our social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creating.